Hey guys, what's up? It's me. This is something a little bit different. So the Dragon Prince Season 3 trailer just dropped about, I'm not wearing my watch, but like half an hour ago. And they put out a request on Instagram and on Twitter yesterday to do reactions for it. Um, and of course, <laughs> I know that I normally only really do reactions to like Rooster Teeth stuff, but the Dragon Prince is something that I'm really, really passionate about. If you've been on one of my streams around when one of the seasons come out, I've just been screaming about it nonstop. So I'm going to go into more of that later. But right now the trailer just dropped and I'm absolutely ecstatic about it in general. There was like two versions. The IGN one seemed to be like a minute 30. The Netflix kids and family wants to be like two. So I clicked that one. Um, Caleb and Caleb, uh, I was playing D&D &D with the character Caleb. Uh, Callum and Rayla are finally in Zadia and I can't. I'm just, mm, I'm just gonna, mm, I'm gonna try not to swear. Really hard. I'm gonna try really hard. I apologize. Even if I do, I'm just gonna bleep it. So just heads up if you're not hearing any colorful language like you're used to, just. We're here. Oh. Zadia. <gasps> the dragon prince lives and he's very cute. <laughs> But my new human friend, get ready to meet Elf Callum. <laughs> all me best mates are trees. <laughs> Zadia is waging war on all of humanity. There must be a proportionate response. We must be ready to sacrifice. Oh, screw you. For the future of humanity. Don't. Zadia would destroy us if we let them. Whoa. But we will fight back. Protect the Dragon Prince. At any cost. Who are you? I love you. Sim. Who are you? I love you. I love that face. Wow. I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> I missed the you, Rayla. This battle won't be easy. We will be outnumbered. There is hope. He's back. Even when the odds seem impossible. You're all that's left of our family. Oh. I won't let anything break us apart. What is that, staff? We will need all the help we can get. <laughs> Big help. My little brother, all grown up and riding dragons. <laughs> we will face elves and dragons. And they will rain fire upon us. Oh, what the? The only way to stop this is to look evil in the face and say no more oh my god okay oh my god okay i'm just gonna mm, oh god i don't even know where to start with that i don't even know where to start with that oh my god okay one i'm super 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 excited to see zadia i've been waiting to see like this full magical world in its whole for so long we've just getting like bits and pieces and breadcrumbs and having it be thrown into that and being able to experience that for the first time with Callum is absolutely amazing. And I forgot how much I, I missed Rayla. I missed her so much. She's my favorite. Like within one season of The Dragon Prince, Rayla was already my favorite character. She already made like my tiered list of favorite characters. Like she was in it and she's back. And y'all know me. Y'all know I'm a sucker for anything soft. And that, that slow walk and dance thing with the magic, like, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> You didn't have to come for my brand so directly, <laughs> Dragon Prince. You didn't have to come for it that direct. I'm okay, I'm gonna scrub through it. I want to know who that person was that they handed Zim to. Who are you? I love you. You're really pretty. Oh, God. So we get to see the winged elves, the, the air, the, the wind ones, because we've seen moon elves, we've seen sun elves. The sun elves seem to be playing another big part in this, partially because they seem like they're the ones guarding the borders uh, against General Maya and they're definitely more head to head. It seemed almost like there were humans who had like the lava stuff. So I'm curious if they found a way through this dark magic to be able to impart those abilities onto normal people, which is why there is like that horrific shot with that guy just like, ah, which would make sense if they were able to impart these magical abilities the same way that they've been like using the life force of other creatures just to do magic if you're able to do it for longer term effects as well. I'm gonna cosplay this lady. Uh, I don't know who they are. I'm actually, I'm, oh, I'm also just, it makes me really happy just as a person who has wide hips and wide thighs to see like someone more or less with that kind of shape, that pear shape that I have. It's really nice because like, especially with characters from shows, that's always really disheartening sometimes seeing photos and Silhouettes are different, but oh, I love, I love them. I love them. I love them. They're aggressively my type and maybe non-binary. 
I can dream. Um, I absolutely adore their designs so much. I love the designs of the show, period. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna, don't mind me popping out my screenshot tool <laughs> really quickly. Hey, hey, Windows, where's the snipping tool? <laughs> Just gonna do my me. Just gonna. Yeah, da 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 da. I love you. <laughs> Save that for later. Because. Oh. Their faces. Here we go. Look at those two. <gasps> Look. I'm just gonna frame by frame this entire trailer. Not on video, clearly. But me too, Callum. I'm glad that they're trying to get like the smears. In with 3D. Wow, I've never done that before in my life. I missed you, you delightful ray of sunshine. I missed Rayla. I missed Rayla so much, you guys. Like, I don't think I can express how much I missed Rayla. Oh. The coming battle won't be easy. Mm. Okay, so Ez does seem to get back with them, which makes me very happy. I'm guessing that once they let Virian, Virian, Virian. It's been a while uh, out of prison that he's more or less going to usurp the Child King and he's gonna rejoin them, which makes me happy uh, because I love their I love their dynamic. I love having this good, pure, innocent boy who can talk to animals. You have Callum who's just like, hello, I am here for my books and is definitely too curious for his own good. And you have Rayla who could be all dark and brooding and edgy, but none said us there, she said it. Which reminds me, Elvin Callum. Hey there, fellow humans, human fellows. Sure do love talking to other humans and doing things like starting wars and eating bread. And now we get Elvin Callum and I'm so excited. He's so dumb, I love him. I love him so much. I've missed Callum. Like, I really love all of these characters. Oh, here it is, here it is. Even when the odds seem impossible. <sighs> They're so soft. All that's left of our family. I can't believe their dad dies. Eclipse seems to be important again, which I'm digging this. I did, um, I did the Dragon Prince for the theme of Inktober last year. Do I actually have it with me? I don't. I thought I brought it with me to finish, but I guess I didn't do that. Um, I did Dragon Prince season one for all of Inktober. I themed everything. And like now that we're approaching season three, there's so much more, there's my hat. There's so much more there. And I love seeing how this has grown and changed and evolved in every way. And I'm just, <sighs> Show him to me. Show me my idiot son. Show me the dumb boy. Here he is! To meet Elf Callum. All me best mates are trees. <laughs> <laughs> he's so stupid. I love him. He's so smart, but he's so dumb. Oh, and as... Like, you can tell th things are picking up, and I'm... God, I'm so excited. I, I cannot express how excited I am for this. Like, I literally am, ca I've been counting down the days, like looking for any possible announcement regarding to the Dragon Prince. Like this is, oh God, I'm so excited. I was almost, I was just, I, mm, I was supposed to be able to go to San Diego Comic-Con and literally the only reason I really wanted to go was for the Dragon Prince, but something came up so I wasn't able to. And, oh God, I'm just, I'm so excited. I love this show. There's so much just genuine heart to it. And all the characters are so substantial, and you can understand their motives. Also, hey, what's with your eyeball, fam? Um, <laughs> where is he? Can I find that shot? I apologize for like all of the miscellaneous scrubbing in here. That staff seems like it's from a sun elf, which is intriguing. Um, I was thinking about Claudia earlier, and I'm really concerned that she's gonna like, it's gonna turn into like a war between siblings again, where like one of them falls further into like darkness and one of them does not. I'm guessing, oh, I bet she like traps the power of the eclipse or something like that. Who are you? You're really neat. I love your design. Yeah, Callum's probably gonna learn from some actual like wind elves about how to use his magic so he knows more than just two spells, uh, which is still impressive that he knows them at all, honestly. Yeah, all of that screaming and the people, this does not seem super, super great. Oh, dragons, and they gotta watch out for Sol Regis. <sighs> I love the designs in the show so much. They're all so solid. Show me your twisted eyeball, you crouchy grandpa. 
God, just this world is so lush and so beautiful and all the characters just rise to meet it. And I'm so excited for this season and it really makes me so sad that there hasn't been a lot of marketing for it. Cause I know that, I know it's more lucrative for Netflix to only market their new shows and not continuing shows, which is why they've barely marketed the most recent seasons of Queer Eye. They barely put out any publicity about this Japan special that came out. They barely mentioned the Dragon Prince, which is absolutely, it's just so sad. And because this show is a gem, the likes of which we haven't had in a while, and everyone needs to be hearing about it. Everyone needs to be watching the show because it's amazing. And that's part of why I actually chose to record this, because normally I wouldn't do something like this. But they were like, hey, please do reaction. We want to see like how people are responding to it, and we want to get the word out. And literally, if I can do anything to help this show, I will. Because this is amazing. You can tell every aspect of it is made with care. And it goes from these really lighthearted moments to really serious ones, like when Callum is forced to face the fact in season one that his dad is definitely dying behind the door. And like he falls down the stairs and like trips and falls next to a corpse. And like the next scene is jovial. It's a harsh contrast, but it doesn't feel out of place because it's handled well, it's handled properly. And seeing solid writing and a wonderful story and great characters all be brought to life is amazing. And I'm so glad that I get to be able to watch this and be a part of it. And like, I don't care half of what's on Netflix. I rarely watch Netflix anymore, but I will actively go there to just rewatch The Dragon Prince, to do everything I can. I have the soundtrack on while I work. I'd like, it is so amazing and it's so lush and rich and you can tell everyone just loves working on it. And it's amazing. And y'all should go watch it if you haven't already, because this was a big spoiler. And I also gave a lot of spoilers, but it's very good. All, everyone in this show is incredibly attractive. All of the acting is great. Um, I want to know more about that bird person, but that's just me. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. I, this is going to go up before my review video. Um, just watch the Dragon Prince. Do it. Live your dreams. <laughs>